Hey, I'm William. Oh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Abby. Okay. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm and this is Eric. And then this is our project, Asteroids. So, you control a ship in Asteroids. That's controlled by the WASD keys, moving in the four cardinal directions. You can fire by hitting and the four key buttons on the DE2 board. And now fire a purple pixel towards whichever direction you're facing. Whether well, that be down, up. And then you can also stop the ship to help you aim if you need it by firing the thing. Let me just demo that. Great. Now, the game Asteroids requires Asteroids. So you can spawn the Asteroids by flipping switches 1 through 8 for the 8 Asteroids. So flipping switch 2 will give us one singular Asteroid. Now these Asteroids are not interactable, so we can shoot them down if we can line up the ship cards. Nope. Nope. We can shoot, out, shoot down the Asteroid, and when it does, you're going to see our score counter go up. So, once again, when we shoot the asteroid, nope, I just destroyed the asteroid. Oops. When we shoot the asteroid, our score counter is going to go up. And when we hit the asteroid, our death counter is going to go up. So the left is our death counter, middle is our um, asteroid hit counter, and this is the time we spent alive. Now, as for the game, one asteroid is kind of boring. So, let's add in all the other asteroids. And as you can see, the screen is very, very crowded, but still, you can interact with any of these asteroids. So if we try to shoot one of them, oh, miss that. our score counter will go up, and if we run into one of them, let's run into this one, we're going to be sh shot back into the middle, and that represents your death. So then, in this project, we have a clock that goes up every one second, and a clock that synchronizes every movement on the screen, with 30 frames per second, 30 hertz. We have other counters that count our deaths and count how many asteroids we've hit so far. And if you look at the screen, one of the things we had to implement across all items was movement. So we did movement through shifters by keeping track of the X, Y coordinate, and then shifting it one bit at a time for every time we wanted to move it. Another thing we did was bullets, of course, that had to move. Beyond that, collisions. So the bullets can interact with the asteroids, and the ship can interact with the asteroids too. So those were all done through collision detectors, which is pretty much just checking if one origin point is within the range of another point. Our points here are all centers of the objects, so the center of the bullet, the center of the ship, or the center of the asteroid. And then another thing we had to get right was sprites. As you can see our ship sprite, it's in white, and it has one thing indicating the direction, and then a missing little bit at the middle. <laughs> Meanwhile, the asteroids can tell you the direction by the way they're facing. So those were some of the most visible difficult things we had to do. The keyboard was essentially given to us through Joe. His code um, had a keyboard already, so we just followed that. As for other features that were difficult, mm, we have counters with timers. We have like lining them up so that like each of the seconds, because um, like the, the hex uh, display is in hexadecimal, so converting that and having like multiple digits that all correlate, um, it took a bit of time doing that. So overall, that's our asteroids project, and yeah, thanks for watching.